You've been wondering whether or not you should go to Lyman School? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you my perspective on whether you should go or shouldn't. Hey guys, Gordon here, and welcome back to the channel. Like I said, today I'm going to be talking to you about my perspective on whether or not you should go to Lyman School. In my opinion, I think most everyone should go to Lyman School. I'm going to give you five key takeaways on why I think most people should go. Number one, it's just not knowing. Not knowing how linemen operate, not knowing the back end of things on who we are and what we do. Uh, number two, it gives you some real world experience on how to use some basic hand tools and equipment for what we use every day. Whether it be just a set of cutting pliers and channel locks, um, a hot hoist, a chain hoist, uh, hot cutters, could be anything, but it gives you real world experience on how to use them and how to use them the right way. Number three, it's a pretty big one. It tells you whether or not you're scared of heights. It's plain and simple. You can't do the job if you're scared to go up, you know, 30, 40, 50, 80, 90 feet. You just can't do it. Number four, getting your CDL. Uh, I think getting into the trade nowadays, it's imperative to have your CDL. In most line schools that I've researched, uh, you get your CDL at school. So it's a little extra studying, might be a little extra money, but getting into the trade, you need that CDL, that class A CDL. Number five, it teaches you how to climb. It doesn't just teach you how to climb up and down a pole. It teaches you how to climb pretty proficiently. Most of the instructors at the schools have a vast amount of knowledge of climbing because when they came up the ranks, they didn't have bucket trucks, most of them. If they did, they were working out of pin-on buckets off a digger. Most of the time they were climbing. So going to school definitely teaches you how to climb and work off a pole. You know, I get line school is not for everyone. You know, a couple examples that it might not be for you is you got a family. Uh, you got a full-time job, can't take three to four months off, or you simply can't afford it at this time. It's expensive. Could run you twenty to $25,000, depending on what school you go to. So if you're still really serious about getting into the trade, here's what I'd do. Number one, I'd still get my CDL. Whether you know somebody with a truck or don't, just start with your permit. If you get your permit, you still might have a chance of getting a job as an apprentice or groundman. Once you get your permit, get a job as apprentice or groundman. Your work may let you use a truck and trailer to go take your test for your CDL class A. I've known a bunch of people that got into the trade with just a permit. And when they got a job, you know, on a contract crew or whatnot, they were able to take a truck and trailer with a foreman and, you know, go test out and get their CDL. I'd also buy some hand tools. You know, we'll go over some basic hand tools in another video, but at minimum, bare minimum, just buy yourself a pair of cotton pliers and channel locks. I'd also buy some used gear, climbing gear that is. You know, don't get too wrapped up into what it is. Just buy yourself a belt, buy yourself some climbers, and buy yourself a safety. You know, whether it be a safety, a easy squeeze, buck squeeze, super squeeze, or even a patriot. You can find them in decent condition, all this in decent condition, at a reasonable price. The next one, Maybe a little weird, but knowing what I know now, I'd buy a pole. I'd buy a pole and set it in my yard. Um, I teach myself how to climb. It's not that bad. Uh, if you know somebody that can teach you, even better. You know, you want your gear adjusted properly so you don't slide down the whole damn pole. You know, the next thing I'd do is I'd buy some books. Um, I'm sure you can find some old apprentice books out there or some old line school books out there. I knew people who just gave them away. Here's my book from SLTC. 
the Electrical Line Worker Program. Great book. Some real entry level stuff. It'll get you knowing what you need to know. My first set of apprentice books were from Northwest Lineman College. Um, you know, they go a little more into depth. This is just book one out of four. Um, you're gonna, you know, most of them books, you're gonna go through safety, uh, broad knowledge of safety, system flow and design, basic transformers, knots, OSHA, and uh, just some basic electrical theory. If you want to add another book to your arsenal, go ahead and just buy the Lineman Cable and Handbook, the newest edition. You know, that's going to be a great asset to have as well. You know, if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to have a bunch of different videos out on stuff I really wish I knew before I got into the trade. Also, go ahead and comment. Let me know uh, how you got into the trade and what you do differently with what you know now.